Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go ahead and just finish setting up the remaining part of my September budget um, spreads. So the first one is my weekly check-in. As you guys know, I like to do my weekly check-ins. However, I do do them off camera. So you guys usually don't see this just because I feel like it gets so hectic within the weeks that filming it and just keeping up to date with my expenses kind of is like... I can't keep up but hopefully i'll try to be better this month and then here on this new open like page right here this is where i usually put like my savings plans and my sinking funds so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so i think i'm gonna go and use i think it's striped i think i'm gonna use some striped washi here I like to use all the washi <laughs> from my shop. So if you're ever interested in anything that I use, I do have all the links down below. Um, all the stickers that you see here are from my shop, Erica Life Vlogs. And then the planner that I use is a 7x9 monthly planner. I think you can get them starting for October or even beginning of the new year, 2022. So if you're interested, I do have affiliate links down below. And then... Um, that just helps my channel if you guys want to use them. Doesn't change the price in anything, but you know, helps a content creator out. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these deco pieces down. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this whole sheet, and then I'll be right back, you guys, because this takes a minute because I gotta write everything in and make it perfect for you guys. So I'll be right back. All right, this is how this setup looks. This is my weekly check-in. So if you guys are new with weekly check-ins, this is basically me monitoring my spending. Every month, I give myself an allowance for these certain categories, and these categories are groceries, gasoline, spending. Now, there isn't a budgeted section because sometimes we're humans, errors happen, unexpected stuff happens, and we might get an unbudgeted expense in um, our day-to-day -day life. So that's always there as a placeholder however this month is going to be different because since swapping out from the cash envelope system which is where i have everything cash i have moved to a debit card system it is its own institutional bank where i only have these categories and their amounts in there and nothing else so every month um i close it out but i never take any of the mo uh, money out so there's always like that tiny little rollover or a buffer and that's going to be new to this weekly check-in for me so i'm going to go ahead and put down the um amounts so i usually give myself um um cash um payout every two weeks so week one um, which was September 1st, I did go ahead and give myself for groceries a total of 175 for groceries. Gasoline, I gave myself 45 I think, or was it 50 For gasoline, it was 50 instead of 45 so I'm going to do that. And then spending stayed the same at 125 That number has been working really well for me, so I'm not... I'm um, planning on changing it. If anything, I'd rather, I'd rather bump it up just because just that's who I am. I'm a natural spender. But now for a budgeted, um, I do have a buffer in that account since like I said, everything stays on my debit account now. Um, nothing gets taken out cash. So there is no change rolling around in my purse. There is no missing dollars or there's nothing that's never accounted for. And um, after two months, I think of doing the cash envelope system in it, I have... A buffer of $83.25 so if I do have it in budget it it will come out from this little buffer that I have in there and that's just from the leftover cash from these categories at the end of the month and nothing else so this is everything that I gave myself this month to spend on and I think so far I've only done I want to say personal spending and that is where my calendar comes to play and my, my expense trackers right here. So I'm going to use these to track my expenses. So green is going to be for groceries. I'm going to go ahead and put groceries here. And this is just so I can color cord it here on my key. So every time, like if I have an expense, at least I know what color to write down uh, on these stickers. And then let's see, I'm going to do this nice blue one for um 
Do I want to do spending on this one? No, I think I should do gasoline or budgeted miscellaneous expenses since this doesn't really get used a lot. Since I don't pump like a crazy mad woman. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And then I'm going to put this blue one for spending. And put that there. And then this red one, of course, I'm going to use it as unbudgeted. So in case an unbudgeted thing happens, it'll be marked like in this rustic red color. So that's how my key is going to look. And usually when I do my weekly check-ins, I like to do it from Sunday to Saturday. So this month I have one, two, three, four, five weeks. So um, this weekly check-in is perfect. And for this week, the only thing that I spent on the first, from like the first to the fourth, I've only spent on McDonald's. Um, I think the, we were going to Disneyland. And we didn't want to buy like food over there. We didn't want to eat there. So what we did is that we went to McDonald's first, ate. And like that when we were at the park, we didn't have like any expenses because we would be full. I think the only thing um, we ended up buying was drinks at the parks, which in itself is already expensive. I remember I was telling one of the ladies at the register, I was like, you know, I don't like buying 24 packs of Cokes at target for four dollars but here i'm paying for one little tiny bottle of coke for four dollars i'm like i'm like the life that we live you guys anywho that's the only expense i've had this week um so far for these i think i've had two eating out and one grocery run so i'm gonna go ahead and put the main one which is my dunkin donuts you guys i love dunkin donut coffee <laughs> And that one cost me six dollars and twenty five cents. I get like um, what is it? A large vanilla ice latte and then a strawberry sprinkle donut. So if you ever guys want to like send over a gift card to Dunkin', I just need six twenty five, you guys, and you would buy me a nice little trip <laughs> to <laughs> Dunkin', and I'd be so grateful. <laughs> Anywho, um. One um, grocery trip, which was food for less. And I ended up spending $18.66. I think I just needed like milk and cheese. So that's literally what I ended up doing. And it's like already like seven o'clock here at night. <laughs> so my whole day has gone by. And then right before coming home, um, I did buy food at Dino's, $34.38. I think I bought food for me, my boyfriend, and my brother-in-law because we were gathering at my sister's place for, um, I don't know if it was Labor Day or not. I doubt it. I think it was just on Tuesday because that's when she's usually off, but that's what I spent. And then for bills, gas bill got paid, the rent got paid, and my health benefits got paid, so I need a sticker for my bills there but that is how my weekly setup looks and now let me do my savings and sinking funds because that's a whole that's a whole another everything so i'm gonna go ahead and use the roses for my savings i can put this down here now savings was amazing last month but if you guys saw my paycheck one if you guys haven't i'll link it up in the cards above you guys would have realized that i basically used it up for school and i still haven't made a decision of what i want to do with my student loan i mean i don't have to do anything until october but still i touched my uh, in case you haven't Heard, I touched my emergency fund to pay for school so I didn't get in debt because my student loan application had not gone through however it did go through now and I'm just like I have that money in my bank account but I don't know what to do with it I don't know if I should touch it or not um, and put it back into my savings or just pay it back to the bank so I don't have debt of course the logical thing is don't have debt but 
I like having my <laughs> savings account pretty hefty, but we'll figure it out. So for now, I think there's four paychecks in the month. Not that I have four savings, but I do want to make sure that I had three, three transactions for school. So I'm going to do like two more paychecks just in case if I have any other savings I want to throw at it. Because I never know how much space I need for this section. I really don't. My sinking fund tracker over here because um, I am funding those. If you guys saw by paycheck one, I already did throw um, my half of the savings for Christmas on here. You guys holiday season is here like I'm about to be all about spooky season I'm not there yet because I feel like broke even though I know I'm not broke but like you know when you just feel like you're tight on money you don't feel very festive that's me right now but it's just a new a new lifestyle I'm getting used to so you know comes with the territory like you don't feel festive you don't feel like spending because you're like oh my god i'm so stressed of making it through the month that's me so anyway that's that and then the categories that i have in case you haven't seen the sinking fund set up for 2021 i'll link it up in a card above as well but i have my cart maintenance i have my medical fund and then i have my car registration which is coming up in October. I don't even know how to spell registration, you guys. Jesus, I'm tired. <laughs> um, and then I have my AAA membership, which is due in December. And then I'm working on Christmas right now. So these are the sinking funds that I'm working with at the current moment. So these are my little savings that I have. So like that, when some of these bills come up, I'm not like shocked that I'm not ready for them so these are basically almost fully funded except for medical and Christmas so cart maintenance is at 365 I think I had like a 400 a $450 limit on it um, before I gave up on it um, and then I just been using it up so when the next year comes I'll have a new limit for it to hit the cap and then use it throughout the whole year so that is how this works now for medical fund um in august i ended up with a total of 157 41. this was the only one that i've actually replenished this year i had it at 350 and then dental work depleted it so now i want to fund it again because i don't want to have it at zero just because i'm not comfortable especially since i do go to a doctor um, I just want to revamp that a little bit more so I'm not so hesitant. And then my car uh, registration tags, they're at 260 I believe when I funded all of these, I think is when we had that stimulus situation at the beginning of the year. So that's how all of my sinking funds got fully funded. And my car insurance is due in October and I think it's about $240. So I'll be like a good $20, $15 um, extra on this category. So I'm really happy. And then for my AAA, um, last year, I think it was like $80 or $82. So I just added on $2 just in case of inflation. So I have it at $84. So when um, that annually payment comes through, I already have it on here. And then for Christmas, I did end up with $300 in savings. I think my goal is six or $700. i am not sure, but I'll leave my... Um, my past Christmas budgets up here in case you're interested in case you're getting prepared for that because I don't want you guys struggling <laughs> when it comes to the holiday season because that's just like the worst it literally is but anywho this total my starting balance for these categories is 1,166 and 41 cents so now kind of just want to go ahead and put some washi down so I can add a transaction log here and that's just when I throw money at any of my sinking funds which is basically Christmas and medical I'm gonna go ahead and take this little transaction log right over here put this down Put some little deco pieces. 
And it's so weird to think that this was just my debt um, spread before, you guys. Do you remember that? Oh, man. Of course, I might accumulate debt now that I'm going back to school, but not the way that I was doing it before. Like, there's no way. Anywho, um, here we have two transactions. So I got paid on the 7th, I believe. And I did two transactions, one for Christmas, which is my priority. And I added half of what I needed to add for the month. So this put me at 350 for Christmas. And then I also wanted to put money into my medical sinking fund. I put 50 as well. And this one brought me up to $207.41. I think I'll be okay with $300. So I'm just going to leave it as is. And then I'm just going to put some bottom washi to close this out. Well, actually, no, because I might need these two spaces to add one more time for Christmas and medical. So I'm going to leave it as that. But anyway, that has been my remaining budget spreads. In case you were interested, in case you just want to see how the layout goes, here is my calendar section where I put down all my expenses. Here is my functional add on so my savings tracker, my sinking funds tracker, and then my weekly check in tracker here. And then, of course, we have my September monthly budget and then my paycheck budget start from there. So when I get paid again, I'll put paycheck two, paycheck three, and then maybe paycheck four. And then I still do have like one, two sheets left over to um, add on to it if I need more space. So, yeah, that has been my budget spreads in full now for the month of September. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the links down below in case you're interested of any of the stickers, which will help support me so much. And um, if you're interested in the planner, it is from Erin Condren. I do have affiliate links down below. You can get 10% off your first purchase from them. And all you have to do is sign up to my referral link and the coupon will be sent to your email. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye you guys. Mm -hmm.